Okay, so today the missus is at work and I've got a day off. So what I did, I got up and took this little one for a walk this morning. And then I went for a walk myself to my local fish shop. It's maybe a two mile walk. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Scotland and Glasgow, but it's still nice and cold. So I went in to the store. I didn't go in there for anything in particular, but I saw on the counter a nice large Metroclima Grishaki. It's a zebra cichlid. I'm sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm very sorry. Um, five inches long, perhaps. It just been handed in there, and then the guy's moving house, and he was just looking to rehome it. It was his last fish to rehome, so I said to my uh, to the store owner, I said, "Look, I really like this fish," and he said. Five pounds in his euros. So I gave him five pounds. You'll see the fish soon. It's probably worth about four times that. Um, so right now it's acclimating in my tank. I did say in previous videos that I wasn't going to add any more fish, but sometimes you see a fish and you know you have to have it. So I'm going to have this um, this bag of fruit and nuts, and then I'm going to introduce the fish into my bucket first, which the camera's sitting on. Um, some of his water's already in there. And then I will take some water from this tank, put it into that bucket, acclimate him slowly that way. And once I've done that, I'll put him into the tank. I'll show you the stages. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this is my, my acclimation bucket, also known as my water change bucket. And in here is the new zebra cichlid, zebra cichlid. It's quite dark, you can just see him in there. So what I do with this is I add all of the water that he supplied in from his bag and on top of that I add about the same again in my own tank water over the course of maybe half an hour just kind of dripping it in gently adding some as we go and I leave them in here including that kind of drip period for about an hour in total and I know it takes a lot for a fish to acclimate more than half an hour to an hour. I mean it can take a few days for a fish to get to get used to your water parameters certainly but this is how I do it. So he's getting ready excuse me, he's getting ready to uh, to go into the tank now. So I'll put him in but just a quick um, a quick mention about my local fish shop. It's uh, it's always one of the, the best things you can have on your side is somebody with the knowledge and experience of fish and who can help guide you along the way so Basically with this fish, he's come in, he's, uh, he's in perfect health, certainly from the outside anyway. He's worth maybe £20, £25 for an adult fish this size. He's, I measured him, he's just over 5 inches, so, and I picked him up for £5. And The way he did that is, this guy just came in, handed the fish in. He didn't necessarily have the room in his shop to, uh, to store this fish, so... He, asked, uh, he gave me a great deal and I appreciate that greatly. So, If you can get a local fish shop that knows what they're doing and if you can build up a good rapport with them, then certainly that's, um, that's one of the biggest battles that you've overcome in terms of keeping fish because whenever you've got problems, they'll, they'll help you with, the, with solutions and so on and they'll get you the fish that maybe necessary, you can't necessarily get from some of the bigger chains that you go to or some of the garden centre chains that, that do aquatics. So... I'm going to put this in. I um, this tank for me. This uh, it was all about kind of taking me out of my comfort zone. I like to keep things nice and clean and keep the fish all uh, all getting along. But certainly with this tank, I wanted to kind of just push myself and have a bit of fun and add some fish that maybe wouldn't necessarily get along and see how I can overcome those issues. So I'm aware that putting in a fish this size of its aggressive nature could cause some problems but certainly it's all about having fun and uh, we'll see how it goes so let me show you them in the tank. Here's the tank in its entirety. The zebra's been added. He's hiding away just now into uh, behind the rocks down on the bottom left there and that's because well a few things I mean it takes a fish a few days to acclimate certainly but the Muri is a dominant male in this tank and he's a he's a chunky beast and he throws his weight around so as soon as the zebra went in, he got he got hit a little, he got chased a little, but I've seen a lot worse, so what I do in this instance, I do it when I add fish that I know there's going to be a few teething problems with. 
um, a few aggression issues, and I, I don't turn the lights on at all, and I won't turn the lights on now until tomorrow night, so it's going to get dark soon, it'll be dark within the next half an hour, and then um, once it is dark, I won't close this door fully over, but I'll close the door a bit, and the only light that comes in will be from the hallway in the living room to the right, so I find that that helps my fish kind of settle in, calms them down, stops any fighting, so we'll see, I'll keep an eye on it, like I said, I took a bit of a gamble, a bit of a risk, but it'll all be fine, it'll be worth it, and that's it, so thanks for watching, and I'll post a video in a few days time and show you the uh, the new fish looking its best, alright, take care, bye bye.